Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today we are here with another Card and Dice baseball game. This one matches the 1972 Houston Astros, who were 84 and 69, against the 1985 Montreal Expos, who were 84 and 77. Both teams won 84 games. Both teams finished third in their divisions. But the Expos played a few more games. So they had a few more losses. But I think they're relatively evenly matched here. So with that having been said, we're going to get underway. Houston is the... Um, Visiting team, so they'll bat first. And the pitcher today for the Montreal Expos will be David Palmer, who was 7-10 in 1985 with a 371 earned run average and allowed 128 hits and 136 innings pitched. And he will face off against Cesar Cedeno to start the game. And Cedeno gets a single. So immediately there's a man aboard, and he's a double-A stealer. They're going to try to steal. That's a five. Nobody in the universe guns out a double-A stealer on a roll of five, so he does steal second. So that is a base hit for Houston and a man at second base after one batter with Bob Watson up. And Bob Watson gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball shortstop. One away. And that would have been a double play, except that Cedeno did steal second. Lee May is up, and he gets a 6-8, and that is a fly ball right field B, two away. And are they going to strand him at second? Jim Wynn is up, and he gets a 6-7, and that's a strikeout. So, Houston gets the leadoff man aboard. He steals second base, but then he is stranded there, and we go to the bottom of the first. Um, pitching for the uh, Houston Astros will be Jerry Royce, who you probably remember most famously as being on the Los Angeles Dodgers. But in 1972, for Houston, he was 9-13 and with a 417 earned run average in 30 starts. He pitched 192 innings and allowed 177 hits. And he will face Tim Rock Reigns to lead it off. And he grounds out to second. What a way. That brings up Mitch Webster, who gets a 3-2. And he flies to right field. There's two down. And Tim Wallach is up. And Tim Wallach gets 1-3 and pops out to third base. So Montreal goes 1-2-3 in their first at bat. And that takes us to the top of the second. And Doug Rader batting against David Palmer. To lead off, he gets a 4-8, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman for the Expos is a 3. And that is Vance Law. And that is a 13 and a 3 at second. Let's see what that is. That is an out 1. So he is out. And uh, that brings up... Um, That brings up, yeah, Doug Rader was out. Um, yeah, that brings up Johnny Edwards with one down. He gets a 2-5, which is a fly to center field. That's two away. And Tommy Helms is up 2-7, single one to eight. And it is a single. So Tommy Helms gets a board. And he gets a hit for a second, the second hit for Houston. He, however, is not quite the base stealer that Cedeno was, so he won't go anywhere. And that's a 5-7 on David Palmer, which is a strikeout. So Houston is retired in the second. We go to the bottom of the second inning, where Andre the Hawk Dawson is up. He gets a 3-9, and that is a single. So that's a hit right there, and it's the first hit for Montreal here in the second inning. Vance Law is up, and he strikes out. One away. Hubie Brooks is up. He gets a 3-9. That is, or 3-8, and that's a strikeout. 
And Terry Francona, the manager of the Cleveland Guardians, gets a 6-10. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 3. And that's a 15. That might be some bad stuff. 15 and 3 is a one-base error. So Francona is aboard with an error. And that brings up Mike Fitzgerald with two down. And runners at first and second. And also, that is an error for Houston. And that's a 6-6, six, six, which is a double 1-14. to 14, And it is a double and knocks in a run. So, another hit for Houston, or for uh, another hit for Montreal. And their first run of the game... And they are going to hold the runner, and that is going to bring up, um, that will bring up the pitcher, David Palmer. And he is a one-hitter. But that is a 4-11, and that's a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder for the Astros is... Um, actually, that's Bob Watson, and he's a four. And that is an 18. The only way to get Bob Watson into this game was to put him in the left field. 18 and four is a roll again. And that's going to be a one. So that is an out. Bob Watson makes the play on the fly ball. You thought the Expos might get something big there? They didn't. But. They do have a one nothing lead as we go to the top of the third. And that will bring up Jerry Royce to bat against Palmer. And he gets a 2-4. He's grounding out to the pitcher. One away. He is a four-hitting pitcher. And uh, that brings up Cesar Cedeno, who gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball second base B, two away. And Bob Watson gets a 2-11, and that's a single. So Houston has another hit. They still don't have... Oh, I gave him an error by accident. God, I hate when that happens. Lee May is up, and uh, he gets a 5-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. So uh, ignore the second error. For Houston going forward because that was a mistake and if they make another one I'll try to remember not to add it again and make it a third but Tim Raines is up in the bottom of the third where the Expos have a one nothing lead the Expos of 1985 have a one nothing lead over the 1972 Houston Astros Tim Raines gets a 1-6 that's a line out to short one out Mitch Webster gets a 3-8. That's a single 1-10. to 10. And that is going to be a single. So, Montreal with another hit. Tim Wallach is up. One out, one on. That's a 5-12. That's ground ball pitcher B. So, it's a fielder's choice. Runner at first now with two down. And Andre Dawson gets a 6-8, which is a walk. The Hawk takes a walk. And there's two on with two down and Vance Law up and he gets a 2-8 which is a strikeout. So no runs coming in for the Expos but they do maintain a one nothing lead as we go to the top of the fourth and Jim Jimmy Wynn gets a 2-3 and that's a walk. So he's aboard. Doug Raider is up. He gets a 5-7. And that's going to be a strikeout. One away. Johnny Edwards gets a 5-10. That's going to be a single. And another hit for Houston. Two on. One out. Tommy Helms up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a walk. And now the bases are loaded with only one out. And Roger Metzger, the shortstop, is up. And he gets a 4-5. And that's a walk. Palmer walks in a run. 
So we have enough. We have a tie game, and we still have the bases loaded with one out and the pitcher up, Jerry Royce, and he gets a six nine, which is a fly ball center field B, and will score the runner on third. So it's two down, and another run comes in. Jerry Royce lifting the fly ball, and Cedeno up, and he gets a 6-9, and that is a fly ball. So Houston gets two runs of their own in the fourth, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. With the score, 2-1, 1972 Houston, over 1985, Expos with Hubie Brooks up. And he gets a 4-5. That is a strikeout. One away. Terry Francona gets a 2-7. That is a pop to first base. And he's out. Two away. And Mike Fitzgerald gets a 1-7. That is a pop out to third. He had doubled in the only run for the Expos so far this game. But they get no runs there. And we go to the top of the fifth. Bob Watson is up in the top of the fifth in this very tight game. Two to one. Three seven is a ground ball, third base, one away. Lee May is up and he gets a three eight. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Jimmy Wynn gets a one six and that is a strikeout. Houston goes quickly there. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth. And David Palmer is up to bat for Montreal. And he's still pitching quite well. He strikes out, so they did let him hit. That's one down very quickly. Tim Raines is up. That is a 310, which is a single. And uh, Montreal gets another hit. Mitch Webster's up. He gets a 4-9. That's going to be a strikeout. Two away. And Tim Wallach gets a 6-7, and that's a walk. So the Expos, they got a little bit of uh, something going here in the fifth inning. Two on, but there's two outs, and Andre the Hawk Dawson up, and he grounds out to second. So the Expos get no runs there. And we go to the top of the sixth. In this very close game with Doug Rader batting for Houston to lead it off. 6-6 six, six is a walk, so Doug Rader is aboard. Johnny Edwards gets a 5-5. Five, five. That's a ground ball second base C. That'll move Rader to second with one out. And Tommy Helms is up. He gets a 2-7 single, 1-8. That's the same thing he got last time he was up. And it's the same result. He gets a single out of it. Raider can only go one base on that. So it is a single for Houston. And they, with one out, they're going to play the infield back and hope for the double play or a pop out or something like that. Because I don't like bringing the infield in. I hate doing that. Metzger. Is up. He gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a walk, and loads the bases. And uh, that's really no different in this situation. He's um, The pitcher is up, and it's Jerry Royce, and they're going to let him back because he is pitching well. 4-7, that's a strikeout. Jerry Royce goes down on strikes. Palmer gets him when he had to with the infield back. And Cedeno up. He gets a 5-6, and that is a strikeout. So Palmer works his way out of a very bad uh, jam right there. And um, Montreal blows what could be um, a... Uh, they blow what could be a, a bad situation for them. So we go to the top of the seventh with... Uh, or with, uh, wait a minute, no we're not. We're not in the top of the seventh, we're in the bottom of the sixth. We are in the bottom of the sixth, and Houston is the one that um, blew the bad situation. And Vance Law is up in the bottom of the sixth. He gets a 6-9, that's a strikeout, one away. Jerry Royce, as we said, pitching well. Hubie Brooks 
that's a 5-3. That is a fly ball to the right fielder. The right fielder for Houston is Jimmy Wynn, and he's a 3. And that is a 13 and a 3. And that's going to be an out, two away. And that brings up Terry Francona, the Guardians manager. And he gets a 5-10, and that is a ground ball, second base C. So no runs come in, and we go to the top of the seventh in a 2-1 to -one game with Bob Watson up for Houston. And he gets a 5-10. That is a single. So Houston, with their sixth hit, doing quite well. Lee May is up. He gets a 6-4. That is a single. And now Palmer is starting to fall apart, probably running out of a little gas. Um, so that is another hit for Houston. There's going to be action in the um, Montreal pen, and that's going to be Jeff Reardon. We'll get up. Start throwing with uh, with Jim Jimmy Win up, and that's a six five, and that's going to be a single double asterisk and scores one run and puts a runner at third. And now they now they will play the infield in with Doug Rader up. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a walk. And it loads the bases. And now they are going to bring Reardon in. So that is going to be it for, uh, for David Palmer. And Reardon is now in. They are going to bring the infield in for Johnny Edwards. And he gets a 4-8, which is a walk. Reardon walks in a run. Second run this inning for Houston. Tommy Helms is up. He gets a 5-4. That is a fly to center. The center fielder is a... What is he? I think he's a 1. I think it's the Hawk. No, he's, he's a 2. If it's the Hawk, he's a 2. All right, so he is a 2. That is an 8. Or wait a minute. Um, yeah. Yeah, eight and two in the outfield is an out one runners advance one base. So that is another run. And that brings up Roger Metzger. And they will keep the infield in. Because there are um, there's only one out. One eight is a ground ball A. Two away. Let's see what happens on that with the infield in. Infield in, ground ball A. Batter is out. Runner on third holds. Other runners advance one base, but they couldn't, so everything stays just like it is. And that's two down now with Jerry Royce up at the plate, and he lines out to second base for the final out, but not before Houston strikes for three more runs and now opens up a 5-1 to one lead on the Expos. And they have got to get going against Jerry Royce. And so far they haven't been able to. Mike Fitzgerald is up and he pops out to third. And uh, Reardon is up. He is a three-hitting pitcher. So they're going to let him uh, hit because they need him. They need their best pitcher out there to stop the runs. Although it is getting late. And he gets a 6-5, which is a home run 1-8 or a double. And Jeff Reardon hits a home run. And yes, this is the basic game, so it's going to stand. Jeff Reardon with another, with another RBI for the Expos. And he makes the game closer. At five to two, and Tim Raines is up. He gets a three-three, which is a fly ball center field, two away. And Mitch Webster gets a five-nine, and he strikes out. But the home run by Reardon puts the Expos within three with Caesar Sedano up. 
And he gets a 3-7. That's a strikeout. One away. And Reardon, in case you're wondering, in 1985, was 2-8 with a 3-18 earned run average and allowed 68 hits and 88 innings pitched. Bob Watson is up. He gets a double 1-7. to seven. And he gets a single out of that. The ninth hit for the Astros. One on, one out. Lee May up. He gets a 4-5. That is a strikeout. Two away. And Jim Wynn is up and he gets a 2-9, which is a home run 1-4 to four or a double. And that is going to be a double. And they are just going to play it straight up and not try to score the runner. And that brings up Jimmy Wynn. And he gets a 3-12, which is a fly ball to the right fielder and ends the inning for Houston. And we will go to the bottom of the eighth. The, um, and the Expo's got to get going here. Tim Wallach, 6'3", he walks. So that's a good way to start. You got to have base runners. Andre the Hawk Dawson gets a 6'10". That is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is, I believe, a three, but... Let's see. No, he's a two, but this is a three anyway, so it might be an advanced one base. Three, two is an out one, yes. So there is one down, but now there's a man at second. And Vance Law up. And that's a four, six, which is a single. And Wallach is the base runner. I doubt they're going to send Wallach. No, he's a 1-11. to So they will just let the runners stay at the corners. Houston's going to play back because there's no reason not to play back. That is the sixth hit for the Expos. And Hubie Brooks is up. And he gets a 4-4, which is a ground ball shortstop. And he is a 2. Could turn the double play here and probably just did. 6-2 is an out double play. And so the Expos are out of the inning. And they did not score. They came close. And we go to the top of the ninth with Doug Rader out. He gets a 4-7. That's a single one to three off Reardon. And that is actually a line out to first base. One away. Johnny Edwards gets a 5-4. That is a fly to center. He is a 2. That is an out. And that's 2 down. And up steps Tommy Helms. He gets a 4-7. Single 1-3. to three. Reardon did his job. He held him down. And he even hit a home run for him. But now we are... In the big time. Bottom of the ninth, they need three runs, and Terry Francona is the leadoff batter. He gets a 6 5. That's a home run, 1 to 8. And that is a home run for the home run for the uh, manager of the Guardians. And he, he gives them a uh, another run, and it is 5 3 with Mike Fitzgerald up. He gets a 6-9. That's a strikeout. With the pitcher up, Reardon, they will pinch hit for him, even though he did show surprising power here. Um, they are still going to pinch hit. And the pinch hitter will be... Well, they don't have a, a lot of really good pinch hitters. In fact, they don't have almost any. So the pinch hitter is going to be Herm Winningham with one down. And he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball shortstop B. That's two down. And back to the top of the lineup with Tim Rock Reigns. And he gets a 3-5, which is a triple one to 19. That's crazy. And he rolls a 19, which is still a triple. And with a runner 90 feet away and a two-run lead, 
Okay, they're making it interesting. Mitch Webster gets a 2-9. And that is a two-run home run. Do you believe it? Mitch Webster. Royce might have just run out of gas. So they get another hit. And they get uh, two runs. Which tie the game. And Tim Wallach is up at the plate. And he gets a 1-7. And that is a pop out to third base. But they tie the game. It's crazy. So um, that will bring up... First of all, we have to have another pitcher. And since we don't know how long this game is going to go, the Expos are going to bring in Bill Lasky to pitch to Houston. And... Um, Roger Metzger will be the hitter. And he gets a 4-3, which is a strikeout. Lasky smokes him one away. With Royce up, they're going to pinch hit for Royce. You would think, quite obviously. And um, the pinch hitter will be Jesus Alou. One out, nobody on, he gets a 4-3, that's a strikeout, and we will put the pitcher hitting card, well, we won't actually, let's see, warming up in the Houston bullpen is going to be Fred Gladding, Gladden, Gladding, Fred Gladding. And Cesar Cedeno is the batter with two down in a tie game here in the top of the 10th. And that's a 4-9. And that is a double one to 18. He rips a double off Lasky. No, he doesn't. He gets a single. So we had that in the books, but it wasn't to be. And he will steal again. He's a double-A stealer. And he does make it. That's a four. Again, nobody is going to gun a double-A stealer with a four. So there's two down and Bob Watts it up. And he gets a six, seven. That's ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a three. And that is an eight. And I believe that's an out and it is. So that is it for Houston. But Montreal, who was losing this game the entire way, could win the game. Right here, and Fred Gladding is out on the mound pitching. Andre Dawson, the Hawk, is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a single one to nine. And that is an out. He actually lines out to short, one away. They need somebody to jack a homer right here, and that's Vance Lawn. It's very unlikely. And he gets out, he runs out to third. There's two down, and Hubie Brooks is up. And that is a 110 home run, 1 to 14. Could this be gone? It is! And the Expo send everybody in Montreal home happy with a home run in the bottom of the 10th when they were losing by 5 to 2 going into the bottom of the ninth inning. But they made a dramatic comeback to win it in the 10th by the score of 6 5 in a crazy game. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.